Archon, it's the Fatui! The Archon of Natlan. A force to be reckoned with. The secret of the Ley Lines is no secret to me. Long have they been destined for ruin. And since the oath made five centuries ago remains unfulfilled, what use is the Gnosis in your hands? I don't know what you mean. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. In times of crisis, Someone must pick up the mantle of salvation. Your plan has reached an impasse, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Natlan. But before the dawn of a new age, the old must be destroyed. I assume that's the end of your speech? Good. People like us? Let our blades do the talking! <laughs> 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 Masters of the Night Wind. Send word. The captain and his followers must be apprehended. Exactly what I would expect from the first of the Fatui Harbingers. I never imagined someone could match you in combat. If the Saritsa sent him here, why would he bring up what happened five centuries ago? Yeah. And how much does he know about Natlan? The Harbingers are all driven by their own personal goals. The only purpose that unites them is collecting the Gnosis. But I'm sure the Captain has his own reasons for being here as well. Whatever his motive, we should shift our focus to the Fatui. If they attack again, and we're not prepared, we're done for. No, we're running out of time. The wound I inflicted should hold him back and weaken him for the time being. Besides... I'm sure you noticed. The power that came to his rescue just now came from the Masters of the Nightwind. In other words, there are traitors among us. Not necessarily. This could prove to be a very valuable turn of events. When we exchanged final blows, 
I sensed an unusual presence within him. I'll need to investigate further. Kanich, go to the Masters of the Night Wind and look into who could have aided the captain. Speak to Seat Lali. She should know. Of course. I'll head out right now. Do you still intend to... Yes. But fear not. That was a bold move, diving headfirst into the fire to save your friend, especially in a place so overrun with abyssal corruption. Still, seeing you pull it off <laughs> was really something. Everything you said was exactly right. As isolated individuals, we stand no chance against the power of the Abyss. It took years worth of scars and lots of unnecessary suffering for me to Understand that for myself. The Pyro Archon's plan will unite us as one. Everyone has a part to play. Only then will we have the power to defeat the strongest of foes. Who are you? Tupac, a warrior from the people of the Springs. I fought against the Abyss during the invasion 500 years ago. I've heard that name before. You were the giant who saved all of Natlan! Since you were able to awaken my words from your ancient name, that means you have fully embodied the aspirations of the Wyub. Under the name Umoja, you shall unite the tribes and save Natlan from its impending doom. M me As long as blood still runs through your veins, even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Its blaze will become one with our vision for Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. years ago. They foresaw the very crisis we're facing now. Efforts to save Natlan started all the way back then. We can go over the details once we get back. We shouldn't linger here longer than we have to. I know bits and pieces, but I had no idea Mualani was also part of the plan. This sounds like something that's going to need a lot of explaining. Let's focus on saving the Wyatt first. Okay, that should be enough. Why up? Why up? Can you hear me? I hear your voice, Kachina. My dear child. Great. Well then, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye. I just wanted to make sure you were okay before we leave. I was going to ask why you bestowed an ancient name upon someone like me, but it's okay. I'll keep searching within myself for the answer. I'll never stop trying to improve my strength. One day, I'll live up to the hero you saw in me. You are already an outstanding child in my eyes, Kachina. No matter what happens. Huh? You are all my most beloved children. It has always been my honor to protect and nurture you. Your ancient name is just that. A name. Much like your parents chose to name you Kachina, I also gave you a name, but it need not define you. Focus on who you want to be. You are already worthy of your name. Now, you need only devote yourself to becoming a better you. The opening of the sky! It's closing! We 
here. Done well. Now come home. We're back. The Pyro Archon saved us. But she's not here. Yeah, didn't she say she used it all up? She's still in the Speaker's Chamber. What we saw in the Night Kingdom was just her consciousness. So you're saying her consciousness did all that? Every great display of power comes at a price. <coughs> oh, you must feel terrible, Kachina. Just hold on. We'll get you to a doctor soon. Let's get back to the stadium. The Pyro Archon said she'd have a doctor waiting for her. <laughs>